Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. It is Professor Anime and welcome back to yet again another video and happy 4th of July. I hope you all are having an amazing day, you know, just taking a good old day to relax and just sit back, maybe enjoy some fireworks and whatnot, hanging out with your friends, family, you know, whatever you do on the 4th of July, I just hope you are having an amazing day overall. And even if you don't celebrate the 4th of July, that is totally fine. I still wish you a happy day and just many days to come. So a few people have notified me on Twitter about a specific series that they would have liked for me to check out. I've heard about it being talked upon Twitter now and then. You know, it doesn't really seem to have too much exposure as some other series do. But while this is still a relatively new series, I really do think that, you know, later as this series progresses, it actually can become something quite popular. But even if the series doesn't get as much popularity as some of the other series, I still think that this series has a lot of potential and actually, you know, just through this video alone, maybe even get a few of you out there to check this series out. However, I will say this, that it is a seinen series. It is very mature. A lot of sexual content, a lot of dark themes in the series, and a whole lot of blood. A lot of blood. Yo, Professor Anime, what manga are you talking about? Come on, just tell us already. The manga is titled Jagan. Now, I have heard about this on Twitter, like I stated before, and I really didn't think much of the series because I haven't really heard too many people talking about it. But as I said, I went ahead and checked it out just to see what it's like, and I was actually really surprised on just how engrossed I became with this series after reading the very first chapter of the manga, and I binged all 18 chapters last night. That is right, there is only 18 chapters of this manga at the moment so it's still relatively new so now is a good time more than ever to actually go ahead and get caught up with this series as of right now because like it, it really does have potential and I personally find it very very enjoyable and that's most likely because the series reminds me of various other series that I have either read or checked out that I also found very entertaining and it's like the series is like a combination of a lot of anime or manga that I have seen before. I mean, technically all anime and manga is a combination of something, but when it comes to this series, like, I definitely could tell some of the inspirations behind this series, which we will talk about very, very soon. Firstly, though, I want to actually talk to you what this series is about. Jagan is about this police officer who is about 27 years old, and he has lived a very mundane life, a very mundane life and he is, in a way, a sociopath, to say the least. Just on how he acts within the series, like, you'll see why if you, you know, go ahead and actually check out this series. But, long story short, there is something that happens within his life in which it completely changes his life forever. One day, in the city in which our main character resides in, there happens to be a meteorological phenomenon that ends up going about in which we experience or our characters experience, excuse me, raining frogs. Frogs falling from the sky, I shit you not. And this isn't fantasy, this isn't fantasy. Stuff like this has actually happened before in some countries, but they are very rare occurrences. But in several countries around the world, there have been cases in which flightless animals have fallen from the sky just due to the weather conditionings and whatnot. But again, this is very, very rare. Such animals can be frogs or even fish. However, these frogs are not your typical frogs by any means. These are actually parasites that can actually infiltrate your body, take it over, and turn you into what's called a fractured human within the manga series. Now, I would go more into detail with that, but I would be getting into spoiler territory, so we're going to save the explanation on that. However, just to keep things simple, but yet understandable, what a fractured human is, is after the parasite infiltrates your body, and within seconds, it can most likely take over the human to a complete halt, in which the human has lost all sense of self, and this parasite that has infiltrated the host can actually grant the body of the host that it is controlling superhuman speed, superhuman strength, and just 
basically warp their minds in a sense into the image in which they can literally change into a beast in the image of their strongest desires within seconds like the emotions in this manga, the, the human's emotions, can actually play a huge role into, you know, the shaping of the beast that they will become. Like, each person that you find within this manga, like, who gets turned, can actually be completely different compared to the previous one that we got introduced to before. And that's something that is really cool. None of the monsters within this series is exactly the same. And just like you expect, the main male character within the series ends up becoming a fractured human. However, he is different compared to the rest as he still has some form of consciousness to him as a fractured human compared to the others who have been infected. So, what does this series sound most likely? Parasite. Which is a very good series, by the way, that I highly recommend. Anime and manga. Like, seriously, like, Parasite is really damn good. Like, I love the series. And when it comes to Jagan, Jagan takes direct inspiration off of Parasite. It was even referenced in, I think, even the very first chapter. You even have Migi making a cameo. But there is also some various other aspects within this series, including anime and even manga that I have seen before, that also, I can tell, have inspired this manga to some extent. So, not only Parasite, but also, I feel as though there are connections with Tokyo Ghoul, Yu Yu Hakusho, I mean, like, come on, like, come on guys. The main character, Spirit Gun! Pew! And there is just various other anime and manga that I draw connections to when it comes to reading this series. Like, I can definitely see some of the inspirations that this series, Jagan, has gone from other series. But most notably, it has been definitely Parasite, and I personally think Tokyo Ghoul to some extent. Especially when it comes to the transformations of the fractured humans. Yeah. Like, it's so hard because I, I know for a fact I might have spoiled something there, but like... For real though, you really have to check out this series just to like really see what I'm talking about here because it is definitely an interesting read. And the art in this series is actually really well done too, as you would expect from a seinen series because seinen series typically have really detailed art and it looks really really good. And fun fact for you all, this series is actually done by the artist who actually worked on I Am A Hero in Nagasaki. So. Like, yeah, if you like that series, you will most definitely like this one, especially when it comes to its art, because the art doesn't disappoint. Like, I could really talk about this series all day, to be honest with you, but I'm not gonna do that because the video is already longer than it needs to be, I know for a fact, and also, this is just a recommendation slash first impressions video, you know, telling you all that, you know, this is a series that you should definitely check out, but it's not gonna be for everyone, I do realize that, because not everyone likes seinen series, not everyone likes a mature series, some people like mature aspects of it, however, some people easily get phased off from blood and gore which this series does have some people also get phased off from sexual content which this series does have so when you go into this series I do recommend you check it out but also take into the things that I considered you know take the things that I said into consideration so that way you know you don't go in expecting like a oh shit stay clear you know if you don't want to check it out don't check it out I'm just trying to give this series more exposure. But I think that about does it for this video, everyone. Thank you all for watching. Definitely check out this series if you haven't already. This is a series that I think everyone should check out. However, I know for a fact not everyone's going to enjoy it, but I think you should at least check it out. And I mean, there's only 18 chapters, so I mean, you know, you don't really have to read a lot. Just, you know, read a good amount to the point in which you can ultimately make your judgment. I say give it at least six chapters. If the six chapters don't interest you, then drop it. But, hey, that's just, you know, my personal thoughts and opinions. That's just advice. Do whatever the fuck you want to do. Never do that again. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.